Hi, my name is Deb Manny and I'm from Aussie Mail. Today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make this sweet little necklace using the Olivia Chainmail Weave. Okay guys, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here's a sample piece of our necklace design today. As you can see it's a beautiful, lovely, delicate little necklace. I've made this piece to be about 46, 47 centimetres in length, which is around about, oh, say, 18 inches or so in length. So make the adjustments to that as you see fit. But to make a brace, a brace, I'm sorry, necklace of this size, you'll need the following rings. So to make the Olivia section, I used 18 gauge AWG, which is one millimetre diameter wire. And I chose the ring size of 3.5 millimeters ID, or you could use 9.64 of an inch for that. You'll need approximately 170 of those rings in your color one. The same size ring, so in this cage, I used 18 gauge AWG 9.64. Um, you need approximately 76 of those rings in your, so this is your color two ring. To make the chain portion, I used 18 gauge AWG 3mm ID rings, these smaller rings over here, and I used approximately 67 of those rings. Um, I also, in the project, used two of these rings, which is 18 gauge AWG 6.5mm ID rings. You'll use those to make up your Byzantine diamond. And the clasp I chose was just a um, stainless steel lobster clasp. This is our um, lobster clasp that we sell, the 002 size, which is around about 11 um, millimeters in length. But that's a nice size um, for the, the necklace. I do suggest lobster clasps for necklaces, um, but you know, whatever cl a clasp attachment you want to use. Um, you, I, of course, will also need a pair or two pairs of pliers. These are from our Zuron range. Um, I've got the chisel nose plier and the short nose plier. Okay, and you may find handy something like this all. The rings are small, they do get a little fiddly. Sometimes the awl helps you um, move your rings into position if you can't quite get them there, but it's not necessary. Okay then, <laughs> let's get started on our project. Okay, so to start making this necklace, we're going to start with the Olivia part of the necklace. So to do that, we need to make up some small half Byzantine units. So to do this, um, take up one of your colour one, or in this case, our bright aluminium rings. Open that up and we want to make a chain of um, six pairs. And on this chain, so we want to pop two more bright aluminium rings and two of our anodized aluminium rings or our color two rings as i said we just want to make up a chain of three pairs six rings in total and to make this bracelet um, sorry to make this necklace uh, the same as the one that i have shown you you will need to make up 21 of these particular pieces of chain. So just going through and making sure that all my rings are closed. As I said we will need in total 21 pieces of chain made up of three pairs of your rings. Okay, and then once you've got those rings made up into the chains, what you need to do then is make your half Byzantine unit. Um, now to do that, you need to grab hold of your chain with your coloured rings down the bottom. Okay, we want to flip our silver rings one to either side, as you would with Byzantine. Fold it all the way back so that it touches your chain. Give it a little squeeze there between your finger and your thumb. And what we want to do is we want to separate out those two rings there on the top and we want to be able to get into 
this gap here. We want to put our next ring through those silver rings that we see there. Now this is a little fiddly because the rings are small. So just take your time, have a little bit of patience um, and you'll get this done, no worries. Okay, so taking up another open ring, we're coming in and we're scooping up those two silver rings there that we just exposed. They're the rings that we just folded back. And we're going to put it through there and close. And then we're going to do that with a second ring. So it goes just through the exact same path as the first one. Oops. As I said, it is a little fiddly. I've managed to get that through the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Through there, just like that. Close your ring. Um, okay, so as I said, you'll need to have 21 of these units made up. Um, if you want to do the same length in your necklace as the piece that I've just shown you. So again, you just make up a chain of two pairs of your silver rings or your colour one rings and one pair of your anodized or colour two rings. So I'm just making up another quick chain here. So what I tend to do is just pop on the rings. I haven't opened or closed the rings that I've popped on. I've just taken them straight out of the bag um, and put them on my jump ring. And then I go through and close all those partially opened rings up. You can pre-close your rings before putting them on. That is totally up to you. Um, I don't think it's necessarily quicker one way or the other because you still have to prepare your rings in advance um, but whatever you're comfortable with go with that okay and I'll show you again how to make up the half Byzantine unit all right so we've got our chain here we want to hang on to the end that's got our color two ring or our anodized ring we want to hang on to that end and with the other end we want to flip the endmost pair of rings one each side of the chain and we want to fold them all the way back so that they touch our chain and then we want to separate these two rings that are sticking up there on top because what we need to do we need to be able to place a ring through the other pair of silver rings that you can see so just the silver rings, not our coloured rings. We want it to go just through that pair of silver rings that we folded back. Okay, so very carefully taking up an opened ring. We go through that space, picking up just those two silver rings and closing it up. Okay, and where we put one ring, we want to put another ring. So we pop one more ring through that same space picking up just the two silver rings we can close that up all right so as i said you'll need 21 of these units so i'll just go ahead and make the rest of them and then i'll show you how we join these together to form the olivia chain so we've got some of our half byzantine units finished here and now we're going to um, join them together to form the olivia pattern so what you want to do with that is take out one of your opened colour one rings and with one of your pieces that you've made up we want to feed this colour ring if we look at this piece we want to feed it through one of these rings up here on the top and one of the silver rings here on the side okay so if we do that we go through one of the top rings and one of the side rings in the silver color. And then before we close that ring up, we take up another one of our units and we pick up one of the side rings and one of the rings in the middle on that unit. Okay, so we've picked up half on each of the unit there, half of the rings on each of the unit. And we're going to close that ring up now. 
and we'll repeat that with a second ring. So we've got two rings joining our two half Byzantine units. So I just threw those rings there on the side. on the one piece and down through those rings on the other piece. And then we'll close those up. Okay, and we've got the start of our Olivia chain. So what we want to do is just keep adding our half Byzantine units together like that to form the Olivia weave. So again, we just go down through one pair of the side and the middle rings on one piece. Taking up a new piece, we go through one of the side rings and one of the rings in the middle. So half the silver rings. We close that up. And we repeat with a second ring. So you've got two rings joining each unit. Okay. You see that we've got the three units being joined now. And this is what's known as Olivia. So you just keep joining all your units like that until you've joined the 21 of them together to form your chain. So again, we're picking up on one end of our chain that we're forming, the two silver rings that are left over, and on our new unit, making sure it's facing the same way, we don't want this to be zigzagged, picking up two side rings, one side ring and one middle ring on our new unit. Close that ring up. Place a second joining ring so it goes through the same path picking up the same rings on each unit and closing it up. So just keep doing that until you've joined all your units and I will meet you back here to show you the next step. So once you've joined all of your half Byzantine units together and formed your Olivia chain, remember to finish off each end with two rings going through the last pair of side rings. We now need to make um, the extension chain that comes off the end. So to do this, just create a simple 1-1-1 one, one, one chain with your smallest bright aluminium rings. And I've made it approximately 33 rings long, which is about 10 centimeters in length. But you can vary that to the length that you require. All right, so once you've got your chain made up, you want to attach that one end to your uh, piece of Olivia. So just open up that ring, pass it through those last two rings and attach it there. And then on the other end, we're going to attach our clasp. So just take up another small opened ring, feed it through the last ring, and before you close it, of course, add your lobster clasp. I find lobster clasps are better um, for necklaces, but the choice of clasp, of course, is totally up to you. So once you've got your lobster clasp on that end, we take up another piece of chain made to the same lengths and again we add that to our piece of Olivia okay so we just put that through the end of our Olivia chain close it up now on the other end you can have a just a small, attach it to the small ring, but I like to attach it to a slightly larger ring, it just makes it a little bit easier to do. So this is just one of our um, 18 gauge 3.5, one of the larger 
ones there. So just pop that through the end of your other piece of chain and that's the ring that your clasp will close onto. Okay, so that's the chain part of your necklace. So now what we're going to do is create uh, the, the Byzantine diamond to hang off the middle of our necklace. Okay, so to start making the Byzantine uh, diamond pendant that hangs off the middle of our necklace, you need to make up four little pieces of chain that are just two, two in length. So four rings joined as pairs. Okay, so I've got three already made up in um, our colour two and just finish making up the fourth pair or fourth set of chains. Okay, and once you've done that, You need to feed these four units onto your largest ring, the, the 6.5 millimeter ID ring. So you just feed that through one of the pair of rings on each piece of chain. Okay. So your work would look like this. So you just close up your large ring now this is a high aspect ratio ring, so it can be a little tricky to close. So just you know, make sure you take your time and you do it properly. So you've got one large ring in there. We want to feed another large ring through the same path. So we've got two middle rings. So just do that now and close it up. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to make each of these pieces of chain into a half Byzantine unit. So taking one pair of rings, separating them out, flip the endmost pair back, fold them all the way over so that you get this familiar Byzantine look. And then taking up an open ring, feed it through that gap you can see there picking up both of those rings that you just folded back, close it up, repeat with a second ring. Okay, and there you've got a finished half Byzantine unit on your ring. So we wanna do that with all of the remaining pieces of chain that's on our ring. So to show you again, we just Separate out one pair of rings, flip back one on each side of the endmost pair, fold them all the way back, pinch them close, separate these two pairs of rings you can see on the top so they form a V and in that space in there that you can see is where we're going to place our next opened ring. So taking up an open ring Feed it through that space and as you always do in Byzantine where you put one ring you should put another so we'll double up that middle ring okay that's two of our chains so we're just going to continue doing that with the other chain so the other two until we've got four half Byzantine units sitting on our ring. Remembering to double up those rings. Okay, and we've got one more chain left. So we're going to do the same with that, flip back those end pair of rings so there's one on each side, fold them all the way back so that they touch the rings, separate out the pair of rings on the top so that you've got that V there, 
and then put through an open ring through the middle of that V, picking up the two rings that are there, closing up your ring and repeating with a second ring. Okay. So this is what your work looks like at the moment. So you've got your two double large rings in the middle and four half Byzantine units coming off that ring. So now we want to do like we did before with our Olivia necklace when we joined our half Byzantine units. We're going to do the same again. So taking up one of those units, it doesn't matter which one, doesn't matter where you start, go down through one of the middle ones and the side ring, just like that. And then move on to the next unit, picking up a side and a middle ring there as well. Close your ring and repeat with a second ring so that you've doubled up the connecting ring. Okay, so you can see we've got two of our Byzantine units connected there. Okay, and we just go around the circle and connect all of our Byzantine units together in the Olivia fashion. So taking up an open ring, picking up the other half of this unit here, going on to the next unit, picking up two rings off the next unit, closing it up, repeating with a second ring so that we've doubled up. Helps tighten the unit up. And then we've got to join the same with the next one. So the other half of this unit, we put through a an opened ring through the other half of the unit, picking up two rings off the next unit. Okay, closing it up. Repeating with a second ring, going through the same path, just doubling up our connector ring. Okay, and then finally, we just need to join these two together to finish the diamond. So again, just taking an open ring, feeding it through the two loose rings of this unit two loose rings of the next unit, closing it up and putting a second connector ring in there. Oops. There we go. Okay, so that's your Byzantine diamond. And we're going to now attach that to the middle of the Olivia chain. So find your middle Olivia link. And to that link there, we just attach our diamond. So taking up another colour two ring. Making sure we've got the centre of our chain. Feed it through the colour two part and then through one of the points of your diamond. Close it up and repeat with a second ring. So there you go, we've joined it here with the two rings. So that's it, that's your finished Olivia uh, necklace with a Byzantine diamond pendant.
Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. It really is a lovely little necklace. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or perhaps share our video, comment, or if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. Um, every little bit of interaction you guys have with us here on YouTube uh, helps us and will enable us to uh, make more of these types of tutorials for you um, in the future. If you do have any questions at all about this tutorial, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, in the description tab below this video is the link to our online store where you'll be able to buy all the components and tools that we use today to make this project. Also down there in the description tab is links to our online media so if you want to share with us uh, anything that you've made from this video or, or any of our videos here on YouTube then you know don't forget to tag us on Instagram or perhaps put it up on the wall of our Facebook page but we'd really like to see what you guys are doing. Alright guys well again I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for joining me and I will catch you sometime in the future. Bye!